guys welcome to my channel where i deliver messages from the divine masculine about the divine masculine to the divine feminines let's see how the divine masculine is feeling angels holy spirit in heaven what's going on in the divine masculine's life what's happening to him this divine masculine is very much focused on the 3d world at the moment he's um, focusing on moving forward achieving something in this uh, material world in this 3d world he's focusing on building up the courage to just act finally to overcome his fears and uh, make a swift decision take swift action Can you give me more details on this angel's Holy Spirit in heaven? He's focusing on a new life, a new project, something new. But there is a tug of war going on here. Someone is not being flexible. And since this five of wands fell out with the ten of pentacles which oftentimes represents a marriage it makes me think that there is a karmic this divine masculine is married to that's uh, causing problems with this new beginning this move that the divine masculine is planning so this karmic is complicating the situation by not being flexible enough and uh, wanting to have things her way and her way only she's not able to compromise she's having this my way or the highway attitude we have to do it my way or i'm not even going on this new journey with you that's how the karmic is acting she's very stubborn this divine masculine is willing to compromise he's saying uh, hey let's meet in the middle but the karmic is just completely not flexible the divine masculine has been working really hard on uh, this move that he's been planning here it doesn't have to be a move in a literal sense, but he's been working hard on this new beginning here, uh, on moving forward. He's trying to rekindle these uh, pleasant memories with the karmic. He feels like they used to be happy and he really wants things to be like that again. He's holding on to this karmic and uh, he really believes that they can fix things and they can get back to these happier times but the truth is this divine masculine is deceiving himself this happy new beginning that he's been hoping for getting back to this energy with the karmic that they used to be in is just not possible it's not going to happen their marriage is never going to be the same And the reason for that is because this was not real. These happy times that the divine masculine had with the karmic, they weren't real. It was just a part of a facade. It was just part of the karmic's tricks and manipulation. It wasn't, it wasn't real, it wasn't genuine. The smoke and mirrors. The karmic sold this divine masculine on this fairy tale marriage and life they could have together, but she didn't deliver. She talked to the divine masculine a lot about her emotions, how happy a new beginning could be. And uh, I'm going to ask for a confirmation, but I believe this Ace of Cups is this new beginning that the divine masculine has been working on he's been working toward this new beginning this move forward with the karmic 
because the divine um, because the karmic uh, convinced this divine masculine that this new beginning would make them so happy. And it would be the solution to their marital problems. But this was just all the part of uh, this manipulation that the karmic was doing. She wanted this new beginning for some reason. So she manipulated the divine masculine into making it a reality. The karmic convinced the divine masculine that with this new beginning, they could be happy like they used to be. All of their problems would be solved. But this happiness wasn't supposed to last because this is a karmic relationship. It has an expiration date. And also because it was a facade. It wasn't uh, true happiness. Maybe the karmic uh, acted happy for a while, but no one can put on a show, put on a happy face forever. Yes, yeah, so this divine mask, this uh, karmic wanted something and she did everything in her power to talk this uh, divine masculine into getting that for her. So she manipulated the divine masculine into giving her what she wanted. She wanted this new beginning at all costs and for some reason Things aren't uh, going the way she planned. So now she's uh, angry because uh, she wants it exactly her way. She wants things exactly the way she imagined. I think this karmic is even threatening the divine masculine with divorce if he doesn't do things exactly the way she wants him to. Yeah, this karmic is very disappointed about something. Things didn't turn out exactly how she imagined in regards to this new beginning, this move forward. Her scheming and plotting didn't work. She's not used to not getting her way. This karmic is very restless. She's all over the place. Um, she doesn't feel like she's in control anymore and uh, that's driving her crazy. She's acting very immature. Angels, Holy Spirit in Heaven, can you give me more details or a confirmation about this Four of Swords, Nine of Pentacles and Page of Wands upside down? The karmic feels like she's not able to manipulate this divine masculine as well as she used to be emotionally she feels like she used to wear the pants in this relationship but not anymore she doesn't feel like she has as much power as she used to and that's because the divine masculine is uh, seeing through uh, her manipulation and his and her schemes now. Things are being revealed to him about this karmic. He's not so blind to her games anymore. And also the, this karmic feels like things aren't happening fast enough for them. She's losing patience. This divine masculine is really good at keeping his cool. He kind of just takes a step back and uh, uh, looks at this karmic objectively from a new perspective. He observes this, this karmic and, and her behavior because this karmic is coming unhinged. She's losing her cool. She's showing her true face. 
She's dropping the facade and the divine masculine is like, mm hmm I see now. I see what you're really like. But he keeps his cool, he stays level-headed, and he's just observing her. And this lack of reaction is making the karmic even madder. The fact that she cannot drag the divine masculine into her drama is making her furious. The divine masculine is even considering to just go on this new journey on his own. He's thinking to himself, I don't need this. I don't want this anymore. I deserve better. I want something better, something real, a deeper connection. He's not that interested in keeping up appearances, like what society expects of me, what society expects of us, of this marriage. He wants something real, something deep. And not just this superficial, and not just this superficial fleeting happiness. This divine masculine used to be very defensive when it came to this uh, karmic marriage. He used to defend this karmic and uh, this marriage whenever he had doubts that maybe this isn't the best for best thing for him, or even if other people noticed something about their relationship that they didn't like, family or, or friends. He was very defensive. He was protecting this marriage and this karmic. He was ready to fight for it. But now he's uh, ready for a fresh start. He doesn't want to feel the burdens of, uh, of this uh, troublesome marriage anymore. Yeah, this marriage is coming to an end. The Divine Masculine is listening to his intuition, to Divine Guidance that's been telling him to just leave it behind, put this burden down. The thought of him doing that made him sad, made him feel this grief. Because he put so much into it. He was very generous throughout this marriage. And not just financially, uh, but uh, with his emotions as well. He put his heart into this marriage, his heart and soul. So the thought of him failing in this relationship just made him feel worried and uh, defeated. He was desperately holding on to it because he wanted to avoid feeling that way. He kept himself stuck in this situation because of his fear. His fear of being alone, his fear of having to start all over alone in life. He didn't realize that this so-called failure would have led to his wishes coming true. It would have led to true joy, true happiness. What he was holding on to wasn't true love. They were just being together for the sake of it. That's what was expected of him. You know, once you get married, it's supposed to be till death do us apart. That's what society says. That's what's in the vows. I keep seeing the Ace of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. I saw it at least three times now. It's because the time is right for this Divine Masculine to put down this burden. The time is right for him to step into his power and say, enough, I deserve better than this. It is possible for me to have something better than this. He has all he needs to leave this life behind, to start over alone. He doesn't need this karmic. 
So, angels, Holy Spirit in heaven, what's going to be the outcome here? Yeah, the divine masculine is going to let go because he's going to realize that that he can start over by himself and he can it's time for him to put this burden down he doesn't have to hold on to it anymore he doesn't have to carry it anymore he's going to build up the courage and, and let go okay so um that's good news i don't think i've ever got this during a reading that a karmic would uh drop her act like that reveal her true face like that so this karmic losing it and just uh, unraveling getting out of control that's great because the divine masculine needs to see that and needs to believe that this is what she's been the whole time she's been hiding this uh, true face of hers the whole time the divine masculine needs to understand that so keep acting this way karmic because this is good for the divine masculine and for you divine feminines this is good for the reunion for your reunion that's the message i have for you guys take care please like comment subscribe so my channel can grow and my messages can get out to as many divine feminines who need to hear them as possible Thanks, bye.